Hello everyone, let me introduce you Lasers Enigma, a plugin I've been working on for more than a year in my spare time, which I hope you'll find useful to offer collaborative fun and innovative content to players. It will allow you to create, solve and share puzzles based on light. To help you discover all of this, let's start creating a puzzle. Since the plugin offers a million possibilities, it can quickly become complicated. To keep things as clear as possible, we will not build here, so we'll set her for our rectangular room with walls made of glowstone, even if I admit it's not really pretty. We also have an entrance and an exit door. A green arrow on the floor will let us know which way the player will exit the room after the puzzle is completed. Now we will really start using the plugin. It's time to create our puzzle area. The puzzle area is a paving stone in space that encompasses everything the puzzle will contain. So it needs to be at least as big as the room we just created. Here it will also contain the walls and the floor, which is why I'm adding two blocks in opposite corners of the room. We start by typing the command lasers to switch to puzzle editing mode, and then use the sound creation item. I start by selecting a point. Contrary to the word edit, here we only use right clicks. The second point is in the opposite corner. You can see that the area has been created thanks to the message written in the chat and thanks to the particles that appear in the air to delimit it and draw its diagonal. Once this is done, we can start to create a real puzzle. It all starts with the laser transmitter. We can add it by using the add a component menu. Among the different choices offered to us, we select the transmitter or laser sender as it is written. Now, let's choose red. Here it is. This laser sender transmits red light. You can orientate it by using the arrows. By the way, if you click on these same arrows, you will notice that the shortcut bar has changed. It is no longer the main shortcut bar. Now, we are in the component edition shortcut bar. All the actions accessible in this shortcut bar, like these arrows, allow us to manipulate this component. In this case, the laser sender. To return to the main bar, you can click on the exit button located in the last box. Contrary, we can then return to the component editing bar by simply right-clicking on our laser sender. You will find this function on all components. I right-click to edit a component, the exit button to return to the main bar. Let's continue. We will start to redirect the light. For that, we need a mirror. But a mirror must always rest on something, so we're going to create a mirror support. For the moment, we will stay with the white mirrors which always behave in the same way, whatever the color of the laser. Once installed, you will be able to orientate it in any direction, like the laser sender. Now, we will give the player a goal by placing a laser receiver. It is color red, the same color as the laser it will receive. Then, it is oriented so that it's facing the laser it receives. So much for the lasers, we've made a simple puzzle that's almost ready. We'll test it as it is. Just before, let's move the mirror in a position that does not directly give the solution to the player. Now let's get out of this zone. Exit the editing mode either by retyping the lasers command or, more simply, by clicking on the exit button in the main bar. Now let's imagine we are a normal player. We enter the room, turn the mirror so that the light is directed to the receiver and we've just solved the puzzle. Of course, other than looking at the receiver, you can't really see that the puzzle is solved. No door has opened, nothing in particular has happened, but we're going to fix that problem. First, let's exit the puzzle room again to make sure the puzzle resets. Indeed, we noticed that the mirror has returned to its initial orientation, the one we had defined as the creator of the enigma. The enigma can be replayed infinitely, now, let's go back to the editing mode with the lasers command and add an exit door that will only open when the puzzle is solved. That is, when the laser receiver is receiving the laser. To do this, we will use a conditional block. There are several types, but the one we are going to use is what we call a conditional redstone block. This block turns into a redstone block when activated. 
the condition for this redstone block activates if one laser receiver turned on in the puzzle area. We'll see in another video how to change these conditions for puzzles with multiple receivers. Let's check that this works by pointing the mirror in the right direction. There, it works! The block did turn into redstone. Now you know the basics of the plugin. In the next video, we'll introduce you to the colors and how to break them down or assemble them. And that's it! I hope you will create puzzles with as much passion as I had in developing this plugin. See you soon!